Time for a night ride. Time for a night ride. Short ride, but a night ride. Time for a night ride. Come on, baby, let me hear you purr. So there's something that I uh, kind of wanted to talk about. First off, if you haven't figured out or haven't seen uh, my last video, I have a new exhaust. Ta-da! And boy, is she loud. Okay, so why did I get an exhaust? Um, now, I didn't necessarily get it for the extra power and all that. Uh, because if you kind of price it out, um, the way I like to do things is kind of calculate price per horsepower, basically divide how much horsepower something is supposed to give you, which this uh, full system exhaust by Two Brothers Racing is supposed to give you five, uh, five horsepower. So divide that by the $750 that it cost, and ta-da, you got your price per horsepower. That's how I look to look at things, and when you see in that perspective, it's like, I don't know. So, that's why I put it off for so damn long. Uh, I've had the bike for about a year and a half now. Haven't put an exhaust on it for that reason. 750 bucks. The exhaust for my car was a hell of a lot cheaper. I think I spent 250 bucks for that thing, and... Only thing missing is headers. Anyways, the reason why I got it. Woo, is because I got tired of uh, people pulling out in front of me. <coughs> now you ride a bike, it's a normal thing. It's going to happen. Doesn't matter what the fuck you do. It's going to happen. You're going to have people pull out in front of you with an exhaust. Now... People couldn't hear me. I had a stock exhaust on it, and yeah, you don't hear someone. You don't think someone's there. Fucking idiots don't look more than half the time. So, what do you think is gonna happen? They're not gonna look. So, after so many close calls, finally got to the point to where my brother actually was like, "Yeah, fuck this. I'd rather spend that money instead of seeing you die." So. Lo and behold, one day I show up at home and there it is. I was so happy. Oh, it was like Christmas. <laughs> Anyways, um, huge difference, but I'll talk about that later on in another video. I'll go ahead and go over pros and cons of that. What I really wanted to talk about though is um, People stereotype motorcycle riders. Uh, it's true for some people, you know, that stereotype had to come from somewhere. It's not some douchebag just sitting at home just thinking up random shit. No, they had to have come from somewhere. Now, the stereotype is um, people that ride motorcycles are complete douchebags. All they do is uh, try to pop wheelies and say, hey, look at me, look what I can do, I'll do this and that. You know, always look at me, look at me, trying to draw attention to themselves. Which is why a lot of people put an exhaust on their bike. Look at me, look at me. That's true for some people. Um, I know a few people like that. I'm not going to name any names, but I know a few people like that. Um, but it's not true. Uh, I think uh, motorcyclists are troublemakers. They go out and start trouble. 
Like if I'm gonna walk into a bar, I'm gonna start a fight. Nope. Well, not intentionally anyways. <laughs> So that's the big stereotype. I'm sure all of you had, have heard that in some form of, you know, or another. Uh, it's really not all that true for everyone. Um, like I said, it is true for some people. So what I do ask is that, you know, get to know the person first. If not, and you don't really care to, you know, get to know the person, then you shouldn't really be judging people. Me, personally, I'm in no room to judge anyone. Trust me, I'm not. <laughs> um, but just try and get to know the person. I know a grip ton of bikers, you know, hundreds of bikers. I'll admit, like I said, some of them are douchebags, not all of them. So, on that note, because so many people do stereotype, and think the worst of bikers. Um, kind of put myself in certain situations. The big one, the one that I always do, always, never fails, is going to a bank. Now, keep in mind, uh, to my knowledge, there is no um, law stating that you cannot go into a business or a building with your helmet on. You do not have to take it off. Unless of course unless of course they say hey could you please remove your helmet or you can't have your helmet on in here you know store policy you know that's when you want to take it off. That hasn't happened to me before. Now the place that I usually walk into um, deliberately with my helmet on is a bank. One of the worst places you can think to go. Why? Because what do people go and do when they have their faces covered up at a bank? Unless that's your religion. Um, usually when you have your face covered up and you walk into a bank, you're going to steal from them. Or at least attempt to. Me? Nope. I go in, I walk up to the teller. Hi, how are you? You know, swipe my card like you do. You know, at the at the glass, so they bring up your account and everything. And once it's done, all right, bye. Have a good day. Oh, okay. Completely throws them off guard. Cause as soon as you walk in, everyone, oh shit! You just see everyone's like faces just in shock. Like, oh my god, I can't believe this happened to me right now. I can't believe we're gonna get robbed. Yeah, it's, it sucks that that stereotype is out there. And I deliberately do it one, you know, the main reason why I do it is to show people that not all bikers are bad. That I can walk into a bank and be perfectly comfortable. And you know, if someone tells me to, you know, to kindly remove my helmet, Sure, no problem. I'm glad they do it. If not, that fucker's staying on. <laughs> but, like I said, I do it just to show people that not all bikers are bad. You know, it's just a stereotype. It's like saying all beaners like tacos. Don't get me wrong, I fucking love tacos. Not every, not every Mexican does. It's kind of weird, I know, but it's true. <coughs> um, so yeah, that's kind of what I wanted to talk about today is just try not to stereotype someone just because they have a, you know, they ride a bike and all that. You know, a lot of us are pretty cool, relaxed people. Um, like, uh, all the people that moto vlog, for the most part, you know, you have um, you have Cape Voice, Brand Seventy Seven Hundred One, um, you have Accidental Broadcast, 
Space Pod, Baker X Derek, uh, Baron Von Grumble. I'm sure if you approached any of those people, and it's happened before, some of them have it on camera. You approach any of those people, they're not gonna be stuck up. They're just a norm normal person, normal everyday person. It just so happens that they ride. They, they choose to ride a motorcycle, they're not stuck up. Brand might have angry face on all the time, but that's a different subject entirely. You gotta watch your Monday night hangouts for that one. But, anyways, that was enough from me for tonight. Uh, kind of a little rant. Um, if you guys have any questions or anything like that, just please feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. And, as always, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. I really do. Some of you think I don't. I do.